So mm -hmm. you're like, to me, at least the ones I know of, like the first artist to actually like do the whole DVD and uh, incorporate the, like the, the music with that shit. So tell me how, like what made you like think like, man, if I just start getting the camera and just like documenting shit like this, like people will actually like this shit and it, it worked. Mm -hmm. I think it's, you um, were, yeah, like go ahead and get into that. I got it. Uh give love to uh my cousin man my cousin kp man you know um and i gotta give love to the outlaws man because the outlaws that got me a, a, a independent deal and i went and got an independent deal the outlaws walked me through the door and um i had to come up with a project so i was gonna do a compilation of course and um i came up with the name of the compilation which was the united ghettos of america and um my cousin was already filming his own little pimp documentary. You know what I mean? All little pimps and players and shit. Right. Yeah, a little pimp documentary pimp going shit. on. Like that type of shit. But it was just about his lifestyle. And his mainly 90, 80% of that shit was filmed around me. So mm. he's filming all our shit that we doing. I'm like, hold on, man. This all I need to do is get a camera nigga and edit. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm watching him do his thing. I said, all right, man, boom. I didn't get a camera nigga. I got my own camera and I start shooting. Because the camera nigga ain't gonna be everywhere I'm at. Right. So I start taking the camera and I start shooting. That's why you hear a lot of me behind the camera when I'm interviewing that's what motherfuckers. I was thinking, yeah. laughing. So I took the camera and I picked it up because I know I can go somewhere with no cameraman. Like, can go. And you're like IG live before <laughs> IG. Like you was on right. <laughs> in video right. DVD for it, man. Like right. the whole behind the scenes. Like that shit used to be so crazy. Right. So I start interviewing people and I start just, you know, filming behind the scenes of what we was doing. And I put that shit uh, as a motherfucking DVD to go with the album. And that shit took off, especially because I had Mac Dre on. You know what I mean? Mac now, Dre. this is like, a lot of people know Mac Dre in the Bay Area, the Midwest, but the world didn't know him. You know what I mean? So That's when this bad. came out, the world was able to tap in and see Dre, to oh, see him do his thing. Yeah. They fell in love with Mac Dre, That's man, period. They fell and that's the thing that, that helped catapult the album that Mac Dre said. That, I mean, the, uh, not the album, but the, um, the DVD that the Mac movie. Dre segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, 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 that Mac Dre segment. Yeah, I mean, and the, the whole Thiz Dan segment, Ghost Riding the Whip and all that, that was a big segment in the DVD. So Mac Dre, he saw me. I mean, I, I was hanging out with him a lot that, at that time. And he saw me putting it together. He's like, cut it. That's all we got to do is get a camera crew. Mm. Oh, shit, stop. Then he started doing his DVD he took too. That, so. same, that same, like, the that same thing. Because he's yeah, seen me doing it. Yeah. yeah, he's like, cut it. I showed him the whole shit. At the end. He's like, cut it. I love this shit, bro. This is what you've been doing with the camera. Okay, cut it. I got you. I got you. Good. Boom. Next thing you know, he got this camera crew and they doing their thing. So, yeah, man, but it. It, it takes somebody to do something to motivate right. your friends. Like, yo, I, I can do that shit too, man. It's that That's easy. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Woo, woo, woo. So, you know what I mean? We start making DVDs. I mean, me and Dre, straight up. And I made and soundtracks you, you, of mine. And you and Dre were like the, like a, like here in KC, like you can keep one of them DVDs in fucking Seven Heaven. Like those are like everybody and their mama. Them, trill, them goddamn Trill TVs and them oh goddamn my United God. Ghetto of United, America. Oh my God. It was, oh like, my man, it was like it was like crack coming out of seven heaven, bro. Like just some ridiculous. Oh, seven heaven was it? Yeah, it was the deal. Was I'm like, so when you see that, like seeing United Ghettos and seeing that, you like, to, like I say to this day, I've never like before then I never seen like you know the actual behind the scenes shit like that and the way you guys were doing it, like on some mm -hmm. kid, still real nigga shit. It was ridiculous, like ridiculous. Like you said, like people fell in love with Dre. Like that's how people, because when they seen it, like you know, natural big personality, they're like, oh, okay, like yeah, this shit, like some other shit. Uh, he's funny as fuck, man. He's funny as fuck. And the, the the fucking charisma, the the the, the, the swag, the dance moves, the the the, right. the, 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 the 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 language, the talk, the finesse, nigga. He was just that nigga, man. Period. And I was able to film it and document that shit and chop that shit up and make it hella dope, nigga, and everybody loved it, period. So, yeah, it's a little man, rest in peace and fizz in peace to the back, man. Right. Oh, my Lord, man. Would, if like, he yeah. was still alive, man, shit. It would have been, get, get into that, like, that friendship that you and Mac Dre had, like, because I know it was a close, because even on the DVDs, you know, you see that he would, like, where yuck at, where yuck, like, going to the airport, doing, like, he, you can tell he really had a lot of, like, admiration 
for you, you know, not even as a just an artist, but as a person. No, I'm not. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, man. I had a lot of admiration for him too, man. I salute to Dre, man. He just, he just, Dre was the dude that wasn't afraid. You know, what I mean, a lot of people was afraid to fuck with me. You know, what I mean, think that I outrap them or outshine them. But Dre wanted that competition. He wanted the dopest niggas around him. So Dre always felt like I was one of the dopest niggas from Oakland. Period. He also felt like Three Times Crazy was one of the dopest groups from Oakland. Mm-hmm. Also felt like the mob figures was the dopest niggas from Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Also felt like this, that, and the third. So he grabbed us all. You know what I mean? Grab me, grab Keith, grab motherfucking uh 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 a uh, uh, uh fucking Bart, grab motherfucking Hustler, uh uh fucking mm-hmm. the Jacker, yep. you know, uh AP9, uh Ryder J. Clyde, you know what I mean, me. And put us all together. We all yeah. mobbing on top of with his niggas. You know what I mean? The, the cutthroat committee, the rock room gang, all his niggas, the Sacramento niggas. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? We all mobbing. Period. So he had this vision of, of niggas just mobbing up under the same umbrella, making hella money called uh, Fizz Entertainment, man. Period. Right. You know, so. Do yeah, you man. Like he, that, um, uh, do you feel like that unity is still like there, like with the Bay? Like, is it, you feel like, or do you feel like it kind of like lost its way? Because I know, like, I used to see like the Bay come in town. It'd be a van of Bay Area niggas, like all oh, Bay. When Dre, that's when that's when Dre was alive. That shit ain't like that no more. It's more separated. It's more like a nigga gonna pull up with his crew. You know, like this right. people whoop, 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 coming. Exactly. It's just him and his crew. When Dre, when you say Dre coming, everybody, you everybody. get the jacket, you get everybody. <laughs> Keep the seat, nigga. You that's get everybody, fact. nigga. Sales key, nigga. Fucking everybody, nigga. Right. Just, Every, you got everybody in that Dre. Yeah, that's a fact. It's not like hey, that. It's I not never, like that no more. Gordon, I ain't never seen that. Like, like if you've seen it, like I'm speaking to the people that's gonna watch right. this, like there would right. be a van, like a one of those, like what, twenty Bands. passenger, twenty passenger, Bands. full of all the top Bay rappers, and pulling up to every place in the city. With Dre, with, with Dre. Dre. He, so he that had shit that was movement crazy. going. He yeah. had that movement going, and even though it's just his show, we all pulling up, and we all getting down. And mm-hmm. he made sure everybody gets some money. So Dre was just a cool dude, you know what I mean? He was he was about expanding. He was about unity. He was about everybody making some money. And he wasn't jealous, man. You got hella niggas that be jealous, scared of shit. Like, he he saluted all his niggas. He didn't have one jealous bone in his body. You know what I mean? He happy when niggas made it, happy when niggas made money. A lot of niggas be sourpuss and mad. Uh, Dre was like, let's make some money together, so right. yeah, I mean, we take this shit to the top, but man. Yeah, so. the point, like, it's stronger for everybody to come together versus, like, one yeah. nigga doing here. Like, one, one, nigga. one can do it, but it's like, it's way more of a stronger look when you got 15 niggas that's all, like, on the, the top side. niggas yeah, all you know, together. Like, you can't fuck with that, bring the city out. Like, you yep. they all here, let's go. No, that's a fact. And instead of one nigga, like, oh, man, brother, here, like, oh, man, shit, I, right, I got so- a baby sick. I got a babysit tonight. <laughs> nigga, that, that, nigga, they all yeah. here, nigga. The baby coming. They coming. Put hey. some clothes on. Put the dog and nigga. They all coming. Somebody going to want to see, like, at least five niggas out there groups. Like, even if you might not right. like the other five, you're going to like at least, like, You're going to like the other five. Yeah, like, nigga, I, what that nigga? Who was in the city? Oh, nigga, I'm going to tap the daughter up, nigga. I ain't babysitting tonight, nigga. She coming with me. Right. Period. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it's going to be that type of hype, man. So, rest in peace to Dre, man, for bringing that unity to the day. I ain't seen it since, man. I mean, you have certain groups, certain crews that are unified, but it ain't been so all of us unified yeah, from Sacramento, Vallejo, Oakland, all the way down. He unified all of that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It, it, ain't, it ain't happened since. Got you. No, it definitely ain't happened since. Like, that's like it used to be a movie. Like, that's why I say, like, the, like that era. San Francisco. Like, oh God. He had San Francisco on Smash, Richmond niggas. Everybody was mobbing with this nigga, man. Period. All right. factions of the whole Northern California. Period. You couldn't get it no cleaner. He had Kansas City on lock. Kansas City niggas was mobbing with him. Like, yeah, you, you couldn't fuck with it. The Fizz movement was crazy. The biggest movement, I think, as far as unity. You know, he had, and he had a big ass deal on the table when he died. Yeah, I think he had like a $3.5 million deal on the table with, uh, with fucking uh, Atlantic. You know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he, he had a big play going, man. If he is alive, man, that man would be multi, oh, super multi million. Like yeah, sometimes I just think does. about that. I'd yeah. be like, man, that it has just been some. And he would have brought everybody. Like I can just see, like everybody that was everybody. in that era would have been like, you know, he might have been doing 
what like kind of like how Snoop is doing like the the TV and he brings on his you know guests. All that he, shit. He would have been doing all that shit like. All that shit, man. Dre had TV gigs and shit lined up before he died, man. He was about to do reality TV, all types of shit, man. So, yeah, he was about to really get his feet super wet. You know what I mean? So, rest in peace to Dre, man. There's a piece, you know what I mean? He's so, up for the cut. For sure. So, tell me, um, like, your love for KC. Like, because I know you've been here a lot in the past. And, like, tell me, like, how was your first experience when you came into the city? Like, and and went to Gates and different places. I know you probably hit all them places. So kind of give me like a, a backdrop to how, like like how it was when you came to, like first came to the city versus your relationship. Um, I've been out there so many times, man. It's ridiculous, man. Um, I was out there with uh, the day, I was out there when Mac Dre got killed, but I left a day before, two days before, so. That time was an eerie time, but every time else we came out there, number love, motherfuckers roll out the red carpet, the blue carpet, whatever size you want. Motherfuckers, you know, it, it felt like we was in the Bay Area. It felt like y'all was our brothers, you know what I mean? It right. felt like the Bay Area. There's certain places that give you that Bay vibe, and, and y'all was one of them, you know what I mean? Right. From barbecue, Gates barbecue, y'all get the Gates plate, you know what right. I mean? Right. Um, um, Just, just going across the bridge, you know what I mean? From Missouri to KC, like it's two different sides, all types of shit. But everybody got that West Coast type of vibe to them. Yeah, I felt like I was in the West Coast still. And I yeah. feel like I'm on the Midwest. I feel like I'm right in LA or Oak. You know what I mean? It's the vibe out there, man. Yeah, y'all got that vibe that, you know what I mean? That hustle vibe, you know what I mean? Y'all bang, of course, but it, it reminds me of California. Right. You know what I mean? The love. How y'all, how y'all club, the music y'all rock to. It, it reminds me of West Coast shit, and we get love out there. So it just felt like a second home to me every That's time I went out there. Got you. Yeah. So you did a song with one of my favorite artists from here, Rest in Peace, Fat Tone. Tell me how it was like working with Fat Tone, like when you oh, did the Wee G's. Like, give me a, right, give me a, right, give me a crazy man. Fat Tone story. Give me a exclusive. Rest in peace, Fat Tone, man. Rest in peace, Fat Tone. Fat, fat Tone was an animal, man. That's my guy, man. Um, but what the fuck did we, we did? Damn, we was in the studio that night, man. When we did the song, man, what it was he doing though? He was doing something that was hella maybe the whole night that, <laughs> that had me on it. Yeah, he kept getting in my head like, "Yo, man, get that ass!" I knew it. He was like hyping me up like a motherfucking boxing trainer. Yeah, so, man, get it, man, you gotta give him that. You gotta give to him. I think man, I was did. mad. That was Jesus. So, oh my god. I, I think I was rapping too smooth. Like, nigga, put that voice in it. Nigga, get angry with it. Nigga, give it to him. Yeah. I remember him just being at, coming to the booth. Like, man, get mad. That was, that was smooth. Because you know, <laughs> Fat Tone, hey, Fat Tone gonna get on there and rap the hardest, dang, right. crazy shit. So he probably looking right. at that, that, that crazy game. Hey, that no, crazy. my shit was, it was dope. I just was rapping it smooth. I went in that, 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 that right. grindy voice. It was just like, yeah, whoop, 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 whoop. Like, hey, nah, nigga, give me the, nigga, go there, nigga, you know, I, I, the nigga teeth, he had the teeth thing. I was like, okay, Tone, I got you, bro. <laughs> the nigga had that thing. That nigga had the thing yeah. on his shit. Boy, he always had a hammer, man. Yeah, he, was, he was cool as shit, man. He was fucking with West Coast Mafia, my nigga Sebo, man. Yeah, so I met him. Bro. I met him through Sebo. You know what I mean? And uh, shit, we was cool as fuck since. Like, you know what I mean? Tone was some muscle out there, man. He held us down every time we came out there, man. So mm -hmm. salute to Tone. Rest in peace to that Tone, man. Rest in peace to And uh, uh, give, give it up to his son. Nigga Sebo fucking with his son right now, man. His son oh, out okay. there he kicking just, up dust. He just put me on game. Like, I got to go check the son out. I ain't even, ain't even. I know. I'm a, yeah, I ain't even on son is the animal, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nigga, his son out there putting up work. It's either his son, his brother, his cousin, one of them. I think it's his son. Sebo mm. son. He dope as fuck, man. Yeah, oh, now I gotta go, once we yeah. wrap up and I gotta uh, get on the IG and look yeah, up. Go, yeah, yeah, do your history uh, report, man. Yeah, man, I gotta do the yeah. on it for sure. Uh -huh. 